Well, hello there. If you're watching this video, it means that you're using FL Studio as your main door, and you're wondering how to sidechain with a third-party plugin, say a compressor. So here's how you do it. You've got your thing that needs sidechaining, in this case, in my wonderful musical example that I've put together in 20 seconds, um, it's this break here, and you've got the thing slash things that are supposed to trigger the sidechain. All right, so you sidechain them to the thing that needs sidechaining via shift, clicking the routing arrow down here. Um, that creates a send at minus infinite decibels. All right, so now uh, this is a third party compressor. Uh, looks like any other compressor but it does have a whole sidechain section and it has the option to use an external sidechain. But now, that's not happening. There's no, there's no external sidechaining happening. You need to go into the processing tab and select the actual sidechain input yourself. And you have to do that for everything that requires a sidechain. Um, yeah, that's like, that's what I love about FL. Um, it, yeah, it does things how they are supposed to be done. <laughs> Basically, it gives you a separate input for sidechain on, uh, on the wrapper. Um, Reason does this the same way. Um, for example, Cubase and, uh, Studio One do it in a way where sidechains are handled separately from all other audio, which is a bit weird and confuses me because I've been using this method forever. So now, it's only getting ducked by the kick. Turn off auto gain because that's making it louder. And now if I want to sidechain from the snare, go back in there and take the signal from the snare. There you go. This works with anything. I hope that helped. So, yeah. Uh, that was it. There's, there's nothing more. If you like this, check out the stream. Twitch TV slash shroomhead underscore one.